Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning, good morning and welcome to Saturday. You look blurry but I think it's because I've not got my glasses on and I've only just woken up. When I say I've only just woken up, it's a slight fib. I was actually awake editing at about 5.30 this morning. I finished my editing and then I went back to bed, had a snooze. What is the time, Glenn? It's about half past nine. It's about half past nine. This morning, a fleet of old boats have been passed. I think there must be something going on. I wonder if it's the Vintage Boat Festival at Braunston. I don't know. Definitely I'll check it out. Definitely something going on. A lot of old boats. They're all heading in the same direction. We are going back to the pub. Yes, half past nine in the morning. We're going back to the pub for breakfast. Yeah, we spotted their breakfast menu while we were there last night. And we thought, yeah, that is where we'll go. So come on, let's go. Sunny, but breezy. Not that warm as well. I don't know if it's a moth or a butterfly. I don't want to disturb it. Fortunately, we didn't tread on it. The barley mow, and who knew until last night that they did breakfast. Oh, looking delicious. That was the best way to start the day, that was. Anyway, let's go back to the boat. Mighty, we're setting off, got me windless. And I'm going to walk down to the lock. Glenn's ready. And come on, let's go. Looks like a boat's just going into the lock. I don't think they'll have seen us. So that is our one and only lock done for today. There was people in the lock that had waited for us. We went straight in, did the lock. Didn't even get time to get my camera down. On we go, back to Milton Keynes. It's such a beautiful day today. Little baby ducks. Back over the Iron Trunk Aqueduct. Over we go. Don't look down if you're afraid of heights. Mr. Warner is taken to feed in the wildlife. I am actually steering. I don't know if you'll pick it up on the camera, but those ducks are so happy. Heading through Wolverton now. I'm always tempted to stop here and get some shopping, but I think we're heading straight through. On we go. We just came to a stop and I was like, what's going on? What's going on? It was someone going past us. Oh, the floating sweet shop. That's a good idea, isn't it? Oh, I'd love to be moored next to the floating sweet shop. Swan's having a wash. Heron watching all the boats go past. We've just had such a scary moment. A boat came across our bow. It was very dramatic. We missed by inches. Um, I mean, Mr. Warner looked quite like, ah, bless them. They looked terrified. I felt so sorry for them. They've obviously not long picked up the boat. I hope they have a better day. <laughs> they look so stressed. <laughs> bless them. Oh, here's that gorgeous wide beam that we saw on, on the way down. I love that boat, it's just beautiful. Right, almost back at our mooring. That was a nice cruise this morning. We've just got in and we're gonna unpack, have a quick shower and then we're on our way back out again. So that was the quickest shower and change ever. We are on our way out. We are going to Brampton Holt with Naomi and Mark. Very excited about this. Don't often get Naomi and Mark kid free. 
they're not often kid free but all the kids have gone off to a scout camp and I said should we take you out for dinner she was like yes please so we're going to Brampton Holt which is actually where Naomi and Mark had their wedding reception haven't been back there for a long time so come on let's go so we've got to head over to the other side of town but the M1 junction is shut so all the motorway traffic is coming off we're going right all this traffic should be going left Looks like Binty Bin has been here decorating. We are here at Brampton Hulk with Naomi and Mark. We've just ordered some dinner. And I've got a selfie camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I love it. Anyway, they're very lovely here as well. So we're just waiting for our food. We've very ordered and they're very camera friendly, which is what we always like. The kids would be so excited to have Glenn's got the burger, I've got the pulled pork burger. We're leaving, there's a party going on. We are heading back to the house now. So come on, let's go. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Sunday. Today feels like a bit of a bonus day because we were planning to still be on the boat today. Persuaded Mr. Warner to come out for a walk with me. Oh yes, I have. He's very excited about it, aren't you? It's my excited face. It's his excited face. He's not excited at all. Anyway, we've got a couple of jobs to do, errands to run, and then we're going for a walk. As always, windscreen is covered in tree sap. Maybe I should get like a little cover or something to throw over my car. Anyway, Mr. Warner's clearing all the leaves. Oh yeah, magic blow. That'll do it. First stop today is Chloe. Fingers crossed moving this week. And she wants Glenn to take out a dishwasher and fix a cupboard or something. Anyway, come on, let's go. Chloe's been up early, but she looks sleepy. Oh, look at that dust. Dust, anybody? Dust. <laughs> what you got in there, Chloe? Some VIP nuts. VIP nuts? Yeah, so all different flavoured nuts. Um, hot oh, toffee. Hot toffee. But we are going to be trying the dark chocolate <gasps> coffee beans. Oh, nice. There's quite a bit of water in it. Yeah. So, Glenn's taken out the dishwasher and the washing machine. Aaron's just come back from the tip, starving. So, Chloe's making him some toast. She just said, do we want a slice? And I was like, have you got Marmite? She was like, yes. I was like, oh, yes, then. I do. Because you can't beat toast and Marmite. You can't. So Aaron's favourite is a bit of Marmite and yeah. then peanut butter on top of it. That's just wrong, Chloe. No, you can actually get peanut butter on No, no, Marmite. I've tried it. It, it really was good. wrong. It was wrong. It's good. I like unadulterated Marmite. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Look at that. Chloe's got three bottles, all different colours. Uh, this is Prosecco. I went, I went halves. I haven't actually got all three with me. Oh, have you not? No. no. What <laughs> other colours? We with went gold, gold and then a green, green. with oh, gold. Oh, nice. Like it. Are you saving that for when you move? Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're leaving Chloe's. On to the office. Okay. Got some dispatches to do. And then we'll be on our way for a nice walk. Righty. Okay, all postage is done. I feel ahead of the game. It's 20 past one. The sun is shining. We're just going to drop something off at Naomi's and then we're going for a stroll. It's a lovely afternoon for a walk, actually. Not too hot. Glenn Wright is like, how do you buy a railway carriage? Hey, now that what? would make a great house. It would, yeah. It would. This is the end of the line for the trains. Oh, it's just gorgeous out here. Oh, look, that's a great spot to sit at and look over. Let's do it. Rest with the roses. little grey bird making that noise. Listen. Five miles 
on the nose. That's what we've done. Anyway, we are now rushing to Hobbycraft because Glenn wants to buy some thread for the sewing machine and Hobbycraft shuts in half an hour. So come on, let's go. You can tell the M1 still shut. Lots of traffic. Not our way though. We've come out to Debs and she's got a whopping great big bit of rhubarb. So gonna take some to make a crumble. Glenn. Don't ask me what I'm doing because it's obvious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Glenn has spent 25 minutes looking for a chalk pencil that we had. He can't find it, so he's just got a pencil. These would be the flaps at the back, and then these bits, when they would be folded over as well and doubled up, they would be where the things go in. Now I've got to sew two pieces together because it's too, it's not big enough. So I've got to do 100 by 90, two pieces, sew them together. How are you getting on, Mr. Warner? Oh. Being happy for the sidelines, but um, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm going to apply to sewing bee next year for you, Mr. Warner. I believe in you. Do you know what you're doing? No, I'm just making sure it all works. Well, Mr. Warner's doing a bit of sewing over there. I'm going to make us a rhubarb crumble with the delicious rhubarb that Debbie gave to us. Uh, I sort of know how to make rhubarb crumble, but always looking for a, a twist. And I've just seen a recipe which was rhubarb and port. Ooh, that's the one I'm going to do. A bit of rhubarb and port crumble. Well, Mr. Warner will be white in custard or cream at the very least with his rhubarb crumble. We haven't got any. I'm going to send for a robot. Mind you, I've just had a look. It's gone seven. Let's see if we can get one. Well, the good news is, Mr. Warner, I've ordered a robot who's bringing us uh, some double cream and some custards. Oh my first, goodness. First pages. As an owner of a singer 315 and check out the ladies <laughs> all huddling round the new sewing machine. If only they knew 50 odd years later that you'd be yeah, getting your that, hands on it. That. It looks like it's from the 60s. Well, yeah, it's, it's old. It's, 50, it's old machine. It's probably 70 years old. Has it got a date? Mm. It was made in Great Britain. Of course it was. Oh man, this port smells good. The rhubarb is simmering in the port. It smells so good. Anyway, I need your advice. I burnt this saucepan the other week and I've soaked it, I've chiseled away at it. I've tried everything to remove the burnt stuff from the bottom. Any ideas? Gratefully received. Uh, our Starship order not successful i ordered five things i ordered custard to be on the safe side i also ordered cream i ordered some salad for tomorrow's lunch cucumber for tomorrow's lunch and a chicken i've just had an order update unfortunately they're out of stock of the cucumber no big loss they're out of stock of the salad. Inconvenient. They're out of stock of the cream and the custard. So a robot is on its way with a chicken. Really? That's yeah. All That's all it's bringing. Every time I use the robots, I think I'm not going to use them again. I mean, admittedly, I could jump in the car and drive down to Tesco's, which is not far. I could even walk. Mr. Warner's having problems with the tensioning. No, I'm getting there. He's just twiddling knobs. No, yeah. I'm not twiddling knobs. That's the whole point. That's what you have to do. That's All right. Like... Robot's on its way. Who's your delivery? It's some of my delivery. Do you think you've sussed out your tension issue? Yeah, I think I'm on. Go on then. Sorry. Let's have a look. This is still a practice bit, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I'm not doing anything. So right. basically you have to bring your needle down, pierce it first. Okay. I wasn't doing that before. And okay. Let's, let's run it down. Ooh, 
well done. Is that nice and straight? It is nice and straight. That does look mighty fine. Good morning and welcome to Monday. What a strange morning it's been. Mr. Warner went off to work. Camera's here. You're not going to hear from him. I've been cleaning like a woman on a mission. I've cleaned, I've washed, I've sorted stuff out. Yeah, very productive. I am still in my pyjamas. It is quarter past 11, but we can't have everything. I have been making an almighty mess in the kitchen, also known as food prepping. I've prepped salad, I've prepped tomatoes, I've prepped onions, I've grated cheese, I've made this gorgeous lemon, it was supposed to be lemon and parsley, I didn't have any fresh parsley, so I've used oregano, I think. I think it's oregano that I've got on the kitchen windowsill. Anyway, it's a green herb, so lemon, olive oil, garlic, oregano, salt and pepper in there. I'm cooking some bacon that we're going to have cold with a salad. I'm going to have some for lunch as well. Last night I cooked a chicken. Oh yeah, you can tell. I'm not messing about today. Oh no, serious business. Yeah, I am going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to eat healthy, good food all day long. No junk. Got a parish council meeting tonight that I've got to go to between seven and nine. And I'm seeing my lovely friend Kaz at two. I've got one room left to tidy up, which is the bathroom. And I still need a shower, so I'll, I'll combine those two. And then I need to clean the kitchen up after all the mess I've made. All is going well. Not very exciting, but well. So, this is lunch. It was supposed to be an omelette, turned into scrambled egg. That's because I'm impatient. Chicken and some bacon and a bit of cheese in there. Salad and some broccolini. House tidy, showered, changed, ready to go see my friends. Come on, let's go. So I'm just leaving the pub where I met my friend Kaz. I mean, we ploughed through a bottle of sparkling water. That was it. Let's get back to the house. Did I tell you Chloe was supposed to be moving? It was on and off and on and off and on and off. Anyway, it was on this morning for tomorrow. It's now off again. So I don't know what's going on, but I'll find out in a little bit. So tonight's dinner, all food prepped and ready to go. Chicken salad, no less. Chloe's move. She's just contacted Glenn. It's on again. So it's all been very tense. It's all been very tense. So Glenn is still going around there tonight. We were supposed to be having this salad at the boat. Long story. But we're having it here now instead. I'm just going to compile it all. Because I've done all the prep. And then, yeah, have dinner. Then I'll be on my way. Here we go. This is a salad and half, Mr Warner. Righty, I'm going to drop Glenn at Chloe's, then I'm going to head off to this meeting and I'll pick Glenn up on the way back. Right, so that's the meeting done, heading back to uh, Northampton now, let's go and see how Chloe's getting on moving house. Chloe, how are you doing? Oh, not very good. Oh, come very on, good. come on. So we just got in, it's quarter past ten. Oh, Chloe and Aaron, they had so much to do. Glenn has just helped them empty their house. Hard work. Glenn's feeling weak under the strain of it. Anyway, I've got two bags of frozen stuff that I've got to try and fit into our freezer um, from Chloe's house. And then I'm going to make Mr Warner a cup of tea. He's in desperate need of a cup of tea. Good morning, good morning. And welcome to Tuesday. This day starting off a bit different still fairly early just gone seven i'm heading around to chloe's i'm going to give them a hand for an hour and a half before i have to come back and start work because their last minute move is still ongoing it's been a heck of a move it really has but anyway no time to talk about that come on let's get going and can i just say what a glorious day it is This is better than a workout, this is. I'm just literally running around with the hoover and wiping down the uh, skirting boards and stuff. All rooms up here, all empty. Chloe now, I'm just taking the fridge out. That was the last big thing, apart from the mattress that they slept on last night. They're getting there. Thank you, Mum and Dad, for helping us. We love you lots. 
Oh, so I'm heading back to the house now. Everything is looking pretty empty. Chloe and Aaron have worked their socks off. Let's go back to the house and I need to get on with some work. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Couple of hours work to do this morning. Then I'm gonna go and see my mum. Then I'm gonna pick Leo up. And then fingers crossed, Chloe and Aaron will have got the keys to their new place and we can pop over and see them. I'm like a woman on a mission today. Oh yes, I've done a couple of hours of work. I've had a shower. I've heard from Chloe. Their completion is going through. So they will be moving into their new house today. This is very exciting. I am now heading to my mum's. Oh, a tragedy. Uh, I ordered a gorgeous pink fascinator for the wedding. It had flowers and feathers and looked, quite frankly, quite amazing in the photos. I just heard last night, it's not going to be here in time. So I've had to cancel the order because, quite frankly, when am I going to wear it, if not for the wedding? So, uh, Fascinator cancelled. So, I need to find something else. Okay. Anyway, just thought I'd fill you in on the Fascinator drama. It's fascinating. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go to Mum's. So, me and Mum have been having a leisurely catch-up. We were going to go into town, but you know what? Couldn't really be bothered. Mum's just asked me, can I clean her kitchen window? Because she's done it up to a point where she can reach. And then um, and then she says the top's terrible. Well, Mum's window's looking very shiny now. Mum definitely needs a new squeegee, though. I broke this one. Well, it fell apart in my hand, to be honest. I'm just leaving Mum's. Going to nip to the office. There's a couple of packages to pick up. Then I'm going to pick Leo up. Come on, let's go. So, good evening. I didn't speak to you after I picked Leo up. We came straight back here and we was playing uh, on the games console. It's dinner time. We're having quite a bland dinner today. Mr Warner wasn't feeling great. Basically, some mushrooms, some white rice and some broccoli. Oh, and some pork in a mushroom sauce. When I say mushroom sauce, I'm cooking some mushrooms and adding a bit of mushroom soup. So, this is dinner tonight. It's a bit on the bland side, but... Hey, can I just point out the Mr. Kipling cakes my mum gave me today for Glen. I have not eaten one single one. We are on our way to see Chloe's new house. We just got to drop some stuff off at the office. We're literally dropping it off and then we're heading to Chloe's. So that is it. We've just dropped some stuff at the office. And when I say literally just dropped, we were like, open the door, shove it in. We'll have to go back and sort that out. Right, now on to Chloe's. Let's go see her new house. Such a lovely evening this evening. It's like perfect weather for a drive. This area is called Hullstone Furs. And do you know what? I have never actually walked around this area. It's a really popular area for walkers and dog walkers, and I've never done it, Glenn. Police, never. I'm police off road riding. <laughs> and Glenn used to ride as a off road police officer around here all the time. We don't actually know the number of the house where Chloe lives, but the fact is, it'll have a big van on the drive so we should be able to spot it right let's see if we can find it okay, there's a there's a little tesco's here and i think she's near there so let's have a look around it is a little shop i'm sure she said it was near here so here we are let's go have a look around Stuck in hello, hello hello what a day <laughs> what, what a, a day. day oh my goodness well the last resident has left it in a bit of a mess so chloe's got some cleaners coming in tomorrow but, uh, so they've put everything in two rooms and they're just gonna wait till the cleaners come around there's a lot to do in here but it's going to be lovely once it's done well these guys are exhausted can't believe it's 20 to 11. It's been a long day. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. It's a work day. We're off, up and ready for work. You might wonder, rightly so, 
why I have a bottle of Radox in my handbag today. I did wonder that myself when I saw you bring it down. Well, it is because at the parish council offices where we work, there's a place where you can put toiletries and that get donated to people who have had to leave their home suddenly. So, yeah. Radox well, pampered bar for you, then. <laughs> beautiful June day. We haven't had many really warm sunny days this month. Just spotted a hot air balloon quite low in the sky in the direction we're travelling in. There it is just over there. I wonder where that's gonna land. Whew, it's warm in here. Mr. Warner, you've got a plan, haven't you? Well, I've got a plan. So, my plan is, is to make a 30 foot boat have a fixed bed and to get a bigger bathroom. This is six foot, and just under six foot into this. This is a single light bed. For a four foot mattress, it would bring us out. We had a four foot mattress in a nutshell, didn't we? We did. Four foot is to this line here. Yeah. So, the plan is is to take this, walk this out. Yeah. Take this out. Yeah. Put a wall in from here. Yeah. So if I can demonstrate with a piece of wood that I have here. So we'll put a wall in across here. Yeah. Obviously cut. So it'll be an angled wall. Yeah. And then then a new door in there. Then this will come out. And then basically you, you'll be able to go through a, what they call a walk-through bathroom. Okay. You can get mattresses for motorhomes. Yeah. That have cutouts in the corner because it's where your feet go. That's what we'd do. We'd get a shaped mattress. Yeah. They're a little bit more expensive, but it doesn't matter. This would be, this would be the, like the edge of the bed. So you'd come in, then where the coats are, that would be a door, door into the bathroom. And basically you'd go like in the, and round. Yeah, it, the layout is, exact, is actually very similar to nutshells, but obviously on a much smaller scale. We'll put storage underneath it because we're going to lose a little bit of storage. Yeah. There's so much storage down the front of the boat. 30 foot four berth with a walk through bathroom and still have a like a full kitchen. And I think we should change the name of our boat to the TARDIS. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Can we wait till she comes out the water yeah, in before July? We, before we start taking it apart. Right, so that is us done at the boat. There's a nice little stop off there. We were saying that we definitely want to do some after work evening cruising throughout the summer. So that would be lovely. On we go. We're going to stop off and get something to eat on the way home. Mr Warner suggested fish and chips, but I suggested Greek. Let's go find some delicious Greek food and we'll catch up with you in a bit. There we go, Greek restaurant straight ahead. Man, that was the most delicious meal I've ever had. Not I've ever had, yeah. Really then, then uh, yeah, I am. It was amazing. Because we we didn't pick it off the menu, we just said we'd have the special. Well, I was thinking, when this plate of food massive. arrived, I was thinking, man, a this lot, is a this. Lot of meat on that yeah, I was like, this is gonna be pricey. It wasn't that bad. It was delicious. Worth every single penny. Oh, mwah. there's a paraglider. Well, we're home before I came in proper. I did a little bit of gardening out the front. I just did some deadheading, cut off some dead flowers, got rid of some dead stuff and watered everything. So that's it for today. A little bit of work, a lovely dinner, a little bit of container gardening. I can't ask for much more than that in a good day. Good morning, good morning and welcome to Thursday. Mr Warner's day off. Oh yes, is that a lovely laying? Anyway, I'm up, showered, dressed, ready for the day. I've got a couple of hours of work to do. This is where I'm going to be sitting. Then I've got the meaningful midweek conversation. And then we're picking Leo up. And then we're going to see Harry. It's a nice busy day. To start the day, I've not had me normal coffee. No, it's got nothing to do with the fact that we're out of coffee beans. It's got a little bit to do with the fact that we're out of coffee beans. But I have made myself a jug of lemon and cucumber iced water. 
Mm. That's the way I'm starting my day. Not with caffeine. No, I don't need that in my life. I do. I do need caffeine in my life. But for today, I'm starting with some, some iced lemon water. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with some work. And I'll catch up with you later. I've done the Meaningful Midweek conversation. That's done. We are just heading out. But I've got to show you something that made me chuckle. So, Glenn's brought a new t-shirt. And it is a muscle fit. He picked it up by mistake. Anyway, look how Glenn has to stand to make it work. What do you think? It's a muscle fit. <laughs> it's a muscle fit. I think if you walk around like that all day, you'll, be, away with it. you'll be spot on. It means that you can't breathe though, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> you got breathing like that. That's how you got to walk all day. Anyway. Like that, that's it. That's yeah. The, that's the walk. <laughs> it's it's Scorchio. It's very warm in here. Very warm indeed. Anyway, we are off to go and get Leo. We're going early and there's a reason. I'll tell you more en route. So, we are picking Leo up 15 minutes early. The reason being is we've got to get him over to Banbury to get a suit fitting for Harry's wedding. If he doesn't get the suit fitting within the next two days, then he won't be able to wear a suit. So we picked up Leo. Leo's got a medal. Let's see your medal. Leo got his medal for, tell us what it's for. Well done, Leo. We've got to make it over to Banbury before four o'clock. Come on, let's go. Right, let's go, Leo. <laughs> yeah, it's all here. <laughs> I can't. I'm back down again. Put your arms down, that's it. Perfect. 26, and then let's see how big your tummy is. That's how, that's where my birthday day is. 26? Oh, very cool. See how big a shirt you need. Quite now. Stand up straight. <laughs> yeah, I feel so. <laughs> He's got one leg longer than the other. <laughs> Spin round and put another arm in there if you can. Oh, doesn't he look smart? Hey. Just to see how it fits. That's you like right. the flower and, and you've got a little tissue hanging out. Don't like play near the stairs no. later. Well, shall I do a double two fingers? <laughs> Oh, look how smart you look. Okie dokie, all suit fittings done. We're now in search of ice cream. Right. That looks right good, doesn't it? That's Layla's. Yeah, we'll stay here. I don't know if you know the nursery rhyme. Um, fine, like, what is it? Sorry. Something uh, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross yes. to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Yeah. Anyway, that is, that, that is Banbury Cross. Yeah. That's what it's all about. What? I, I don't, can't remember how it starts, Glenn. We're stopping to get some dinner on the way back. There's a church steeple there. So Hayley's got a whole load of books that she got for her birthday so I'm just having a look through to see if there's any that I want to line up for my next read. They all look good to be honest. Okie dokie, we are leaving. Well when I say we, me and Leo are leaving, we've lost Glenn. He's brought the van apparently, he's going to meet us back home. So me and Leo heading back to Northampton. So I've just got back to the house, Mr Warner, well I have no idea where he is, somewhere between Whitney in Oxfordshire and here, in a big white van apparently. So yeah, not a clue. Actually I'm going to put the kettle on make a cup of tea and wait for Mr Warner to return with his new purchase. Oh my goodness. Is Mr. Warner. Yeah. You made it. Yeah, I had to buy it. I just had to buy it. anything I do to that van's going to increase its value. So, oh, it's a bit rough on that corner, isn't it? It's been hand sprayed, isn't it? What's that? Yeah, it's been hand sprayed. Did you see it in the daylight? Yeah, no, yeah, it was day, it was daylight. It's proper filthy. It is. Yeah, I've been wiping it with baby wipes. As you've I've been, been going, going along. <laughs> the back bit's the worst bit. Oh, it's 
stinks in here. Absolutely. It does. Absolutely stinks. It smells like solvent. And there's a big hole in the floor there, a round hole there, and there's a hole here for where his extractor stuff used to come out. Oh. So now you've got a boat and a van to do up. Yeah. Wow. Well, Look at so this. The other, the other door trim's there as well. But it, it's got a little bit of wheel wobble which needs to be sorted out. But it actually dries really, really well. Okay. Mr. Warden's well happy with that. Well happy. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Friday. Well, today already is not going as planned. And it's early. Late last night, I get an email from the production company it's a big filming day tomorrow and it had the schedule of where we had to be and what we were doing and stuff and we're supposed to be staying in a hotel tonight both me and naomi were like oh that's news to us but the drama was when they sent a photo of us at the last filming day and said you need to wear these outfits i was like i don't even know where that top is and then i was like Oh, I think that's in the loft, packed away with the winter clothes. So this morning, Glenn had to go up, find the right bag. It wasn't the first one he brought down. I don't think it was even in the second one he brought down. It was in the third bag he brought down. I found the top. We're not heading down to London until later this evening, like seven or eight this evening, because Naomi had she's got plans she's off to a barbecue it's all go that's all i can say so tomorrow is the last filming day for the game show the last filming day i'll be quite glad to get tomorrow done with to be honest that's not until this evening what's going on today well i've got some work to do this morning mr warner's got some work to do mr warner's off to the office chloe's got a list of jobs for glenn to do so he's got to nip round to chloe's and I've got to pick Leo up from school, and that'll be today. So you can you can see what I've got to do a bit better now because the van it stinks in there. But you can see where he's been doing wheels. It is proper proper minging on the upside. Yeah, it's got a consumer unit plumbed into it here. Which has got, it's got six plugs in there. So I could set up a, um, easily set up a battery and a solar panel. But first I've got to deal with, there's a hole in the floor here. There's a hole in the floor here. But it won't take much to get rid of this off. It's just dirty. I don't even know what that is behind there, but it looks horrible. But once I've painted it and covered these up, it'll look completely different. It really, it really will. It's actually not in bad nick, as in solid wise in here, but it is pretty minging. So I just got to the office stroke storage room, let's call it. Got to do some dispatches, got to return some stuff, then I've got to get to Chloe's. But in the meantime, I need to put my drill on charge because Chloe needs some stuff drilled, apparently. But I'm done here, I'm off to Chloe's now. I think it's one o'clock. So I'm around Chloe's, shower leak. It's just knackered, really. All the seals are gone. These plastic seals have gone hard, which is allowing water to get in. I think it's pretty muddled, but I'm, I'm going to give it a good clean out, see if I can get it to work any better. So I'll just put a new one of those up for Chloe. Rose number two done. Let's see what Chloe's up to. Looks like she's making a mess. New fridge has arrived ten minutes ago, and it's a Whopper all around cooling system. Yeah. Humidity fresh. Well let's, uh, let's get it unwrapped. Let's get it unwrapped. So look, it's lit up. Chloe, it's lit up it it? and it fits. We just got to wheel it back into the gap. And then Chloe wants me to put a dishwasher in as well while I'm here. And washing machine. And washing machine. Look, I've got anything else to do today. I've now got Dad fixing my light because I can't do that while we're in the middle of trying to put the dishwasher in. Bingo. Oh, I love the smell of new things. Oh, like a glove. Dishwasher, fridge, all in. Now Chloe wants me to do the washing machine, but it's in the garage. Washing machine, all plumbed in, no leaks, touch wood. Chloe wants me to do one more thing, which is in a line, so she can uh, get some washing done. And now I've got him fixing the garden gate. 
We've put the washing line up in the corner as well. It is gone three o'clock. I've got to go and pick Leo up and then I've got to take him for a haircut. I've had quite a leisurely day. I've worked, I've packed for tonight, I've showered, I've tidied up. So it's all unfolding lovely anyway come on let's go let's go pick leo up so i've just picked leo up and we've come to the barbers so i'm done at chloe's it's very warm it's saying outside temperature 30. anyway let's get the air con on let's get out of here all right oh it's yours very melty oh come on then so Ryan's here. Give us a wave, Ryan. Leo's here. Got me set up. Glenn's here. Naomi's here as well. She's just gone upstairs. We're all packed. We're ready to go. We are off to London for a big recording day tomorrow. Ryan, how do you feel about this whole thing? Oh, God. <laughs> I feel a little bit like that. Are, are you going to be glad when tomorrow's over? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's been a long process, this filming, hasn't yep. it, darling? But tomorrow is the last day yep. and then we just sit back and we'll wait until it is broadcast to the nation. Come on, let's go. We've got a trip down the motorway to, to London town. And we're off. So we've come off the bottom of the M1. We are now, are we on the North Circular, Pappy? Yeah, North Circular with the A5. Ah, oh, we're so glad Pappy's driving. We are not far from the hotel now. Right, 105. Oh, well, we're guessing that's 105. It looks like 105, doesn't it? Yeah. Hi, Sarah. Pappy's off. Let's check out our room. <laughs> Look at the size of the TV. We'll get the games console set up. Do you know that Sky... TV. Yeah. It's very warm. It's amazing. Another hectic week. But it wasn't that hectic, Glenn. I mean, Chloe moved house, you brought a van. I, I think it's been an alright week, actually. It had a nice ebb and flow to it. So, anyway, we're not going to keep you for much longer. Just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the comments last week. And hopefully we'll see you next week. See ya. Take care. Bye. bye.